All right, what's up YouTube? Time for another review. And this one, this brand's been, uh, no, doesn't need much of an introduction. It's been around for a while and it's kind of the, the pinnacle of what other gloves have been compared to. And I'll give my uh, two sets on what I think the winning gloves are and whether it's up to what other people think it is. I did an uh, unboxing maybe about four weeks ago, that's when I got these gloves. So I put them through their paces about two or three times, yeah about twice a week. Work's, work's been getting uh, busy so maybe about twice a week on the bags just to get a feel of this. After, after a while using different gloves you kind of like can gauge very quick whether these gloves do it or don't do it. Some gloves take very long to break in. Uh, some feel natural and you gel with very quickly. So what I'll do with this is the same. I'll look at the structure, uh, quality and how it feels like when I put my hands in and hit the bags because that's mostly what people uh, look for. So wrist support and knuckle hand protection is up there on the review. All right, let's get into it. So I've uh, been thinking a while about getting these. Excuse me, I'll get a scale. Been thinking about, been thinking a while on whether I should get these because should I, should I? I've just been uh, enjoying the luxury of getting uh, uh, gloves. Because I'm, I'm in a very, uh, how shall I put this, lucky situation where I can get these and have access to this. So my, my unboxing, I explained how I actually got these winning gloves so quickly because um, what I hear from on the interweb and, and reviews are these are months away to get after you pay. I got them within less than two weeks. That's direct from uh, Japan. So if you want to see how I got it, I explained it in my previous video, my unboxing of winning gloves. So today I'm going to do a actual review of the gloves itself. All right. So, so the stitching on this, let's go to the structure. <clears throat> Cause you want to have good gloves. You need to have a structurally sound, quality. So I hope, I hope you can see that. Is that good enough lighting? So all these, all this stitching is just immaculate as you would expect from winning. Everything's in place, nice tight stitching. So double stitching here, single over there. I never realized the, 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 the wonkiness of this. Maybe it's the, the way they can show it's a genuine one. If you can see this, it kind of slants towards the thumb side. So the, the hole kind of goes zoop that way. And you can see that the font is in the middle with a black outline. And the, and the grip bar, it kind of like is only where your palm is and then kind of like disappears here and disappears here. I think that's a nice touch. It didn't really for me, if I don't notice anything, I take it as a good design because when it's weird, then I feel like, oh, that's a bit wonky or feels weird or doesn't feel natural. So this, this feels as it should. It's, it feels like something to grab onto so, so you don't feel like a hollow space there and you like don't know what to do. Stitching there. And when I got this, it was kind of like no creases, but once you very quickly crease. So I guess also you can tell whether those people on uh, Gumtree or, or different websites, uh, sorry, not Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace, some of them claim it's unused. So once you see these crinkles on them, they're used. Yeah, Unused ones are pretty pristine and no... What? Yeah, I guess I'm crinkles if you know what I mean. So stitching is really immaculate. Look at that. And even here, it just everything just looks in place. The thumb, of course, iconic. No other glove has followed the way it looks like. 
and I'll just give you a gander. It's it looks separate. It looks it literally looks like a thumb. Okay, and I went for the blue because I think I was limited with my uh, options if I wanted it quick, and also I was conversing in English to a, a Japanese person, so I just went blue, <laughs> fourteen ounce lace, and I fingers crossed, and and I got it. Yeah, and this is the badging. I think it's plastic. I don't know if it's leather, but it just feels nice, smooth. Yeah, and, and that, I know it's hard to tell, but it it's nice, soft, and squishy there too. Okay. Yep. Alright, so on the inside, nice, nice white stitching, and that, and that, uh, separation there, I, I like that. And this sticker on there, I'll call it a sticker. If someone wants to correct me, let me know. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's a genuine article. Okay, also, winnings come with uh, un, un, this with no end. So I didn't want it to fray, so I deliberately used like plumber's tape and just went around this to, to keep its uh, keep it intact so it doesn't fray and like this dis dis disintegrate so that's what it's supposed to look like and also it's supposed to have the navy blue liner inside there we go it's fresh and there you can see navy blue that's the padding inside you can see that and that's the Tags, 14 ounce, made in Japan, both sides, made in Japan. Okay, so that's on the inside, the thumb side, it's stick there, it's stuck there. I'm not sure as, have they changed positions? I'm not sure about all that kind of thing. Just letting you know what kind of, that's it, that's the only tag in there. So it's very uh, nice and smooth, easy to, to slide in. So that's the, the external structure of it. It's basically immaculate, yeah, there's nothing I can find anything wrong with it. So when you slide your hand in, it feels nice and snug for me. So if you all been watching my videos, I have a small medium uh, fist and my wrists also are pretty... So I've got a, a smallish medium wrist. Uh, so yeah, so going with that, my my fist uh, fits in. I, I I bought the correct size for me. Fourteen is just perfect for me. So that that's the so my hand my palm ends over here. There's a bit of space inside, but it's not like so much dead space that you feel like your hands moving. It feels snug and it's not going anywhere. And there's another piping over here. So that's what you see your grip bar. But there's another piping right there so so it, it even has something on this part of your hand to latch onto so it's like here and here so you've got a double grip which i was quite uh, surprised and and it fits nicely so these are my fingers so that's where you can see them wriggling i hope you can see that wriggling that's the wriggling of the fingers and i was quite surprised because i i uh, uh like gloves with strong wrist support but so whatever they did with this this padding in here is like the typical uh your your dishwashing uh, sponge kind of uh, density so it's not too too dense but the structure of this is a lot more snug around my wrist so even here there's maybe twice the density here that's a little bit more so this is twice as dense as this but maybe the let I'm, I'm assuming this is real leather because there's so much stuff about it being synthetic. I don't know now, but I'm just assuming it's leather. So this, this is a lot more snug. So when I pull this in, I feel very secure in this. So it's not, they don't have the physical toughness that other uh, gloves use to, to make you feel secure. This is just a lot more snug. And when I ratchet it in, I was quite happy when this was around there. So I, I, I do use the lace and lace to loops. 
that makes me feel very secure around this for some reason. It, it, it just feels a lot tighter or, or a lot more snug. Yeah, the sensation of snugness. So the palm is right there. Again, this moves towards your thumb and the padding straight away. Whew. I don't know what they do. No, I, better, I better control myself. This is nice density. You feel if, if you miss, it's, it should protect you somewhat. But I can feel my thumb if I hit someone's elbow or, or, or something sharp or hard, yeah? But this nice protection, they stay there to, to not allow your thumb to hyperextend. That's the view, that's the view, that's the view. Yeah, so very iconic thumb. No other thumb, no other company has uh, managed to, to follow this thumb for now. And the padding, man, I loved it. I, I could... I really tried my luck and tried hitting hard on the back straight away and it did it protected my knuckles. I did not have to use these ever. I just used reps and this just protected me for some reason. Whatever they're using inside, whatever density, I don't know if it's a density or a special kind of uh, foam. I never once used those. I didn't need that. I was hitting hard and the most I felt a bit of a bruising but very minute compared to other glove every other glove if i stop using that i felt it in my knuckles straight away and this one for four weeks not once did i have to even think once i need to protect my knuckles so this is because of the snugness of this and the protection of my knuckles this is my number one and these are 14 ounces so, so I, I don't know, I, I guess that's why they've been around for so long and, and professional boxers use this to practice all the time. I've met people who um, have busted their knuckles because they've been boxing for like 10, 15, 20 years and their knuckles are all like, like almost dead and, and they've tried other gloves, they always go back to this and now I can confirm. I have never felt safer or more protected any other glove but these ones uh, no regret they, they, they do come with a price but hey my knuckles are worth it Maybelline <laughs> okay so let's put in the right hand silky smooth easy to swap slop it slop in s s slot in that's how it looks like yeah when you you so it feels very snug. So it do, not naturally, structurally holding it together, but for some reason I feel safe and maybe my wrists are just getting stronger. Who knows? Fair than the thought. Okay. So that's what it looks like around my wrists. And my wrists are, uh, I, I didn't realize quite a few people, quite a few of you are like, like that also have this kind of wrist. So that th these are nice gloves. 14 inch did it for me. I don't know if I would appreciate the, the 16 inch because it might be get, get a bit bulbous. What I was looking for is enough protection but not feel so bulky. This is it. So to date, these are my favoritest of the world gloves. So let's just measure them, weigh them, sorry, measure them. Well, I guess it could be measure. It's winter here so 14.04 left glove. Let's try and shift it a bit. 40, 14 on the dot. Right one. Oh, you shot changed me a, did a bit, buddy. 13.69. Let's try a little bit more. 13.7. Okay. I'm happy with it. So, this okay, last chance. 13.76 on the right. And 14 on the left. I think we're pretty good. So I think that's the review for this. If, if you think I missed anything out, you want to ask any questions, shoot questions below. If you like, please, uh, please like and share this. Helps, helps me a bit. I'm hoping to uh, continue this channel for, for a long time. Hopefully can reach more people in the world. So winning gloves, 14 ounce, late. So 14 ounce winning, 14 ounce winning gloves lace, 
is the bomb for me. My number one pick, no holes barred. Thanks for watching.